Hey guys, so look what I have here. A US Amps USA-100 HC. I'm going to be doing some tests here. We can see we have a resistor bank and we have the Quant Asylum QA403. And when I open the box, you can see we have the US Amps amplifier. Then we have the owner's manual. So my methodology for testing the US Amps 100-8C is going to be very straightforward. I'll be using my Quant Asylum QA-403 audio analyzer. And we have one input channel connected. We're going to have all of the low pass filters and high pass filters set all the way up and down accordingly. That way we're not blocking any frequencies. And we're going to be running a power supply at 14.5 volts and I'm going to start off with the 4 ohm load. This is connected to this aluminum block here, and then I'm going to parallelize it down from 4 into 2 all the way down to 1 ohm so we could see what the THD at this, of this amplifier looks like at different power levels. Right, so we're going to run a negative 15 dBV to 0 dBV input, and I've went ahead and I've set the gain so that produces about 39 volts AC and let's run this we're going to go ahead and measure the THD of the amplifier at 1 kilohertz so we're going to increment by 1 dBV on the input and let's see what type of power we can get so the amplifier at a 1 kilohertz 4 ohm load is rated for 0 0.02 or less THD Looking at these test results at 3.7 ohm resisted load at 1 kilohertz, we could see that above 30 watts, we get below that 0.02% THD level. But to be fair, this is a THD plus noise measurement. So it's automatically going to be higher than just a traditional THD measurement. If we drop the resistive load to 1.7 ohms and we run the same 1 kilohertz test at 115 watts, we could see that we stay below 0.03% THD plus noise up until 1 kilohertz. Then it slowly climbs up to 0.2% at around 8 kilohertz, 9 kilohertz, and then drops down way below that to 0.05% up until the, the 20K. 
Here's another test at 1.7 ohms of resistant load, same thing, 115 watts, but this one uh, sort of sweeps the frequency all the way from uh, about 20 hertz up to one kilohertz. And we could see that it's at that 0.02% mark, right exactly where the amplifier is rated at 115 watts. However, remember the rating is THD at four ohms. We're looking at THD plus noise at 1.7 ohms. So technically this is actually better than rating within this frequency range. Finally, I ran a input versus output linearity test. This makes sure that as the input level increases, the output matches it and does not deviate from it. And once again, we could see basically a flat line, which means that uh, regardless of the volume level you're at, the amplifier will do an excellent job at being able to match the gain without doing any sort of uh, attenuating or increasing. So I had an absolute blast testing this amp. It's been a ton of fun. Really been putting out some amazing numbers. Thank you to US Amps for sending it to me, letting me play around with it. I think anybody who's going to pick it up will not be disappointed with, with the audio quality of the amp and of course the power. Very, very clean power. And just to make it crystal clear, uh, US Amps did not pay me for this. I'm not keeping the amp. I'm sending it back. I really just did them a favor since I do some amp testing. And I said, sure, I'll take a look at it and run some tests.